Right. Back we are. To our Queen Gerok. The Hollow. And we'll see how life treats us. What was the plan currently? I'm sure there was some sort of plan. There generally is a plan. Not entirely certain what it might have been. Ah. Uh. I want to find something good. Oh, I only have the flu, so that's good. The flu isn't great, but it's not life-threatening as such. Now, my court physician can help. He explains that there are several types of treatment he can offer. So, either we go with something really experimental or with something a little bit more tested. I believe we're not going to risk it. We're going to go with something more tested. And yeah, that was the right choice. This offsets uh, most of the effect from our sickness, so we're all better. Until we're actually better. So, no geniuses. Well, I should type it well. At least. Uh, let's have her. Not the greatest thing, but who cares. Who cares indeed? Oh, our husband has a gnarly, gnarly scar. Let's check our council. Our council is looking pretty good currently. Look at that. Lots and lots of supports. Let's check if there's something we would like to achieve while we still have council support. Maybe. Oh yeah, look there. We might actually get some... Um, some powers back into our own hand. Let's see if we can't convince one of the other counselors of how good and sensible it is to support us. So we're going to give out a few gifts here. We have a little bit more loyalty. Where's my advisor? There. See if it's changing. No? No? Alright. A blast has passed. Oh, he was actually part of my court. Beatified. Interesting. Highest example. Well. We are already missing him, clearly. No question about that. Still don't want to invest in these. Been burned in the past. So let's invest in these. A little bit at least. Now, it's probably wars that need to be fought. Looking at you over there. And you're so going to be your tributary. My good friend. Well, could try pressing this claim again. Just eat away at him. I know I said I wouldn't want to go to war over something small like this again. But it doesn't feel all that small, to be quite honest. So... I'm torn. I am torn. Let's do it. Let's just jump right in there. Let's call all our vassals. Someone here has 2,000 men to field. Wow. And let's call in at least our tributaries. And I think... I always say that. I always say, I think we can just let our vassal of our tributaries do this, our allies. But in the end, with a war on such a large territory, it generally doesn't work out too well because the enemy, or rather our allies, don't move in all too sensible patterns. 
So it often devolves into the enemy army getting around. Getting to roam free. Oh, that's not great. Losing a little bit of troop here. First engagement of the war goes to our enemy. Which we very graciously accept, of course. And now we shall turn that tide with our own army. Not exactly sure where the enemy just went, but they went away. Good, we're catching one of his troops out. He was prevented from mustering well. Basically, he's already lost. Alright, let's let's set up some sieges here. Let us set some sieges. You can siege here, you can siege here, you can siege here, and go here. You guys get the crown jewel, you guys get this. And King Bangar, you get to join your overlord. They're fleeing down here. We'll try to get back in shape somewhere. Not gonna work out for them, I fear. Once we have this... Oh, we already have this. Nothing to siege anymore. So we go beat this army. And this army. And every other army he might have. I was just watching the victories roll in. The Holy Father is most concerned about the loyalties of the bishops of our realm. No, you can go off. I don't care. My bishops are loyal to who they are supposed to be loyal to. And there's nothing wrong with that. We'll take them out, even if we go over a straight crossing. There's no way in the, in the world he's going to win that. Ah, we took a good prisoner. He's going to pay us a little bit of money. Let's see, we're just going to ransom whoever we can, because we don't need prisoners. At least not those. They are too low in rank. Too unimportant for us to even concern ourselves with. Not sure where this army is going, but... Alright. Well. We are no longer sick. Which is lovely. The Picts really aren't what they used to be. Well then. There's some uprising. He'll have to deal with that. And we've won. Let us have peace. Hmm? How about that? Right. Send down our troops. We can usurp a title. The High Chiefdom of this, what belongs to this, these two. But you guys are vassals of someone. I could make him a count. He should be my direct vassal, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to take that title here. Just costs us some gold. What gives us claim at the end? There. 
and he gets Dalriata. Is that that? Yes, that that is this that. All right. So he shall have it. Because we don't want it. And then we can go press his claim in another war. Let's see who else we can take out. On him. Can't. Our son is a tough soldier. Well... Could have been better. Could have been worse. We'll live with it. Sure. Okay, I didn't get to accept this. I would have. Wasn't allowed to though. Alright. You're not my vassal, are you? Ew. You're also not my tributary. Guess it's time to... conjure up some claims again. Husband? Go do your job and do it well over there. We'd like to... expand a little bit... onto the island. And see where things go... for Ireland. Have some betrothed Mary. What else can we do? How much is of interest? Oi! She is a sickly one currently. Let's get some treatment. And it worked out. At least a little bit. Let's hold a feast. Why not? More diarrhea again. And there we go! There she goes. What a shame. Now our sister is our heir, but we are very young. Very, very young indeed. So we have a long, healthy life ahead of us, hopefully. Queen Garrick died of depression, which is in itself a little bit depressing. Queen Garrick has given up the ghost at age 49. She died of depression, born with an unparalleled world. That sounds exactly like what you said about her father. I feel like, well... All right, okay. Yeah, she can still plan her feast from beyond the grave. Okay, so lots of things happening now that we need to take care of. We could found a merchant republic, how so? Oh, right. Right, because we have everything prepared for that. We're not gonna, I have never really played a merchant republic and thus I feel like I would very much fail at this. Good, we still have heirs. Um, we shall go for the war focus, really, because we would like to upgrade this a little bit and gain a few more decent traits. So let's have a ambition. I think having an heir. It's actually not a great ambition, but we are stressed, so we need to offset this. So we will groom an heir. Um. All right, we would lose this duchy up here because currently we have more than one heir. One eligible heir. The second we have a son, this should go away again. So let's set our crown focus to home. There we go. We have a bunch of council positions open. Let's see who... Might need to be placed. Well, he's great, but he doesn't like us very much. So let's put the guy who sort of likes us. Our father still loves us very much, so that's great. Go into hiding because someone is trying to kill us. Let's see if maybe we can stop that. You. Stop it. Stop trying to kill me, please. Pope is trying to kill... One of my court chaplains, which I denied replacing. Ooh, one good thing is that 
me dying means that while I lose all my tributaries, I also lose all my pacts. Positive and negative. So... Why can't I declare war on you? Oh, because we need 100 piety. And offer of vassalization... He needs to be at peace for that. Which he isn't. He's fighting down here for some reason. Godforsaken reason. Well, good, that's fine. Let's check our packs. Maybe we can transfer something into an alliance. These are all my vassals. Vassal, 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 vassal. Betrothed. <laughs> Alright. Um, siblings. I can't decide who you marry. I can't decide who you marry. Can't decide who you marry. Can't decide who you... I can't decide anything. It's almost like I'm not even king. Well, we'll have to figure out how to... Get ourselves some new... Why do you hate... Oh, you hate the Pope, you're not us. Huh. Attempted murder, yeah. I would say. I would say there's some animosity there. Good, okay. We have gold, but not much else. Are we losing here? Let's see if it recalculates. Oh no! The heavy male horse armor is not in good shape. We're definitely going to have it maintained to keep the memory of Glitterhoof alive. Yes. My demand is just in we. Right, okay. So before anyone around us grows to become an issue, how many troops can we field? Enough, even without our vassals. So let's start some wars. Win some wars, especially, because that way we gain prestige and people will like us more. There's really no... Petty Kingdom of Wessex. What can you do? A little bit. Maybe let's get some tributaries. Let's get some tributaries first. Can you call them? And they have, well, a little bit. And you have a little bit. So we're going to be completely fine with this. Oh no. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Let's get some British on our side. Well, some are going to accept. We're actually only going to call our father because I want to see if or how large of an impact calling him into war actually has. So, let's call you to arms. And he has accepted. Does this affect our relationship at all? No, it does not. So there's no reason really not to call everyone in that is going to become... Oh, lovely. Okay, she doesn't want to fight. Everyone is going to like me for it. We're not going to get the 100 prestige though. I think we need the prestige really right now. So we're not going to accept her offer. And instead, we shall go to war. Right, okay. Now, we are leading troops somewhere. Let's lead the strong flank here. And everyone else gets to lead everything else, I would say. It was one of those situations where I didn't want to... Well, do we want to be honest or deceitful? Ah, there's no saving our diplomacy anyway. Let's let's go for deceitful.
Are we going straight for the jugular? Straight destroying that army there. Not even gonna wince. The boy king needs to earn his spurs. Things are going well when I suddenly hear an embarrassed huff from me and up nearby. Okay, no, 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 no. Not the dual thing again. Oh boy. Ah, lovely, a duel! <laughs> I shall duel the commander myself. Oh! My opponent seems to be getting tired, his moves becoming slower. Strengthened by the cheers of the crowd, I sink my battle axe into, of King Edekon into his chest. The man groans and it takes a while before my own heart stops pounding. Then he is still. I win the duel. 50 prestige. My duel experience increases, my battlefield experience increases, and I get monthly prestige. Wonderful! This is my first duel I've won in a long, long while, I tell you that right now. Alright. Who are you? Yes, I would like to have 20 prestige. I don't care about this kid. Good. Now time to go siege. And prevent the enemy from going anywhere. Let's have our allies bunch up over there. He's going to come up here again. And once he does, we're going to go get him. Not exactly as I planned. Could you maybe... Could you maybe not sit on top of me? Let's see. Could... You have... An order, so you guys... Go and hunt the enemy, don't stand around on top of me, causing me to attrition. <laughs> Look at him run. Tries to flee. Alright, another opportunity for us to be great in battle. Ooh! Garrick Ergnach Chasilil lived a pious life, truly a following the example of God. She passed on November the 9th, 841, and people have long wondered if she would be considered a true Christian or not. In a grand ceremony, Bishop Enna has declared Garok the Hollow as a Christian who has indeed entered heaven, celebrated by the people of Ayr, as well as the Christian world as a whole. We can only... Oh, this is... <sighs> okay, so... This is one of those moments where I'm getting a little bit emotional. Let's remember for a moment where all this came from. Her father... Which... <laughs> yeah. Her father had her children. Her firstborn son and her f oldest daughter murdered alongside their husband. No, th not their husband, but her father. To secure the line. He was a lunatic. A kinslayer. He was proud, sure. Brave, but also paranoid. His paranoia drove him to commit horrible, horrible acts. And here she was, Garok, beaten by fate, beaten by life, robbed of her precious children. At the beginning of her life, she went to war. Unleashing all that anger and hatred she felt for her father. She. She claimed the crown that he so desired and never could reach in his lifetime. She not only outlived his cruel, cruel designs. 
She eclipsed the brutal man he was. And once the bloodshed was done, once Ireland was united under her rule, she took a different path. She became devout. She sacrificed her life, her body, to God. And here we are. Her son. And all of Ireland. Being allowed to cherish her. As a saint. And indeed. It is a loss of all of us.